I'm Nikki and welcome to the Preppy Possum. Today I'm going to lead you step by step through a painting. Alright, so let's paint a sand dollar starfish. We have so many people that love the beach and people always like to paint beachy things. Let's start by grabbing a huge brush. It's like the biggest brush in your cup. So I would say like a inch brush or so and dry it off. And I'm going to use a sea foam, so like a bluish green. And I'm going to paint the whole background just to get a good little layer on there. So grab a bunch of paint, so like a sea foam color. And we're just going to paint the whole background. Keep grabbing a bunch of paint. And don't worry about like which way your brush strokes go because we'll come back and kind of streak up our background around the sand dollar and starfish. So you just want to keep grabbing a bunch of that sea foam. And we're just gonna cover the whole thing. And then just wipe off your extra and chunk that one in the water. Once you have your background, just kinda wipe that one off, chunk it in the water, and let's grab like a number eight size brush and dry it off. And we'll grab some bright white. You can even have a little bit of off-white with it, but mostly bright white. And we're just going to skip in from that top left-hand corner at least 10, 11 inches and do a little mark. And then we're going to skip down from that top left-hand corner at least mm, 8 or 9 inches or so and throw you a little mark. And from that little mark we just made, we're gonna throw a line kind of over to the right for just five or six inches. You can kind of let it like wave up in the middle just a little, because you know how sand dollars aren't, they aren't perfectly round, they have a little. And then between that line and the top little line, we're gonna throw a line that just kind of leans out and wiggles just a little. So you want it to kind of lean out to the right and you can even wiggle it just a little bit. And then grab a bunch of that paint, so the white and the, and we're gonna fill in that whole thing. Don't worry about it being a little bit streaky because we're going to come back and thicken it up. So just grab a lot of that white and off white.
So we have us a good little first layer in through our whole big sand dollar. Doesn't look like one yet, but it will. And then, so we got that all filled in. Let's use that same brush, just kind of wipe it off. And let's grab like a caramel kind of brown. It's so like a caramel brown. And let's skip in from that bottom right hand corner at least like eight inches or so. So you're just skipping in from the bottom right hand corner. And let's start with like a circle. So start with a circle about the size of an orange. And once you have your circle on there with a the caramel brown, then we're gonna throw our little lines off of it. So right off kind of the top, I would throw one that leans towards the top right. So now it looks like a cherry. Then right here, let's go ahead and right here, going straight over to the right from the circle, we'll throw one that kind of goes straight over for three or four inches. Then we'll throw one that kind of barely leans towards the bottom right for at least like, you know, four or five inches. And then let's throw one that kind of leans towards the bottom left for a few inches, so like four inches or so. And then we'll throw one that leans into the edge of our sand dollar for, you know, at least four inches or so. And then once you have all your lines on there, so make sure to draw your lines first because that's a good little starting point. Then you want to leave them skinny through the ends and you just want to kind of thicken it up towards your circle. So we're going to use the lines as a little, you know, a little guideline. Kind of starts out a little crazy, but I promise it works out. But you just want to keep it kind of skinnier towards the bottom and kind of thicken it up. And then where they meet, you can just kind of round it out just a little bit, just right there where the little arms meet, you can kind of round it. So if they look like kind of funky bananas, you're doing, you're doing it right. It starts out kind of wild. But just kind of curve it where the arms touch. But once you have all your arms on there, then just grab a bunch of that caramel brown and we're just gonna fill in the whole thing just to get a little layer of paint on there. You could even grab like a little yellow and tan with it. But we're just gonna fill in that whole starfish with some caramel and you can even grab like a little bit of like a golden yellow, a little bit of tan, and just fill in the whole thing. So we're just gonna fill in that whole starfish with a layer of paint. And then once you have that, let's go ahead and wipe it off and chunk that one in the water or kind of rinse it out because we'll probably use that same size brush again. So just kind of wipe it off and rinse it out and dry it off. And let's grab a little bit of the light blue and sea foam together. So a really light blue and some of that background color, some sea foam. And now we're just gonna throw some dashes all through our background, just to kind of add a little depth. So just some little dashes and make sure you skip around. You wanna make sure you have some dashes near the edges 
all through the middle near your sand dollar and starfish. So just kind of dash everywhere. And it looks good to do it kind of in all different directions. So just kind of grow crazy. And don't worry if any of these like get too light because we can just kind of come back and dash with some more sea foam by itself. But we're gonna do that everywhere through the background. Just gonna keep dashing. Make sure that you get some that are like right up near the edge of that sand dollar and right near the edge of your starfish. So we got a lot of dashes and anywhere where they got too light, just kind of grab some sea foam and we can kind of dash back in with a little bit of sea foam. Just so they won't be just so they won't be like too perfect. So kind of dash back in. With a little bit of that sea foam, we're just gonna kind of dash and it'll kind of make it blend, make our background look a little bit better. Okay, so we have our background good and textured. So now let's wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's grab like a number four size brush. So a little bit smaller one. And dry it off. And we're gonna grab some off-white and some yellow together. So you want some creamy off-white with like some yellow. And we're gonna skip over here to our starfish. And we're gonna do little dashes through each one of our little legs. So just kind of do start through one and we're just gonna do little dashes right through the middle. You just kind of want to stop before you get to the center. And we're gonna do that through all of them. And then once you have the dashes through the middle of all your little legs, then we're gonna connect, connect them through the middle. So we're gonna do little dashes that kind of lean in. So I'm gonna do a little dashy line that leans in and I'm gonna connect each line to the next. And it's gonna kind of give that star shape in the middle that kind of mirrors the, and then keep that off white and yellow. And now you wanna really skip around and we're gonna throw a few of these, just a few, kind of throughout our starfish. So kind of skip around, throw you a few of these. Make sure you get a few that are near the edge so you're not just throwing these bumps, you know, in the middle. Cause you wanna have a few on the edge. They have that rough look to the sides of them. All right, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and grab, just kind of wipe that one off. And let's grab some really dark brown with even a little dark gray. So dark brown and dark gray on like that same size brush. And we're gonna do a few dashes of dark right on the inside of those light dashes that we did through the middle. And then once you have that, keep those and we're gonna do a few more dashes. So right underneath their little line of dashes down here, through the little arm that hangs out towards the bottom left, we're gonna throw some dark ones right underneath those light ones. And then we'll do the same thing, kind of coming down into this one that goes down towards the bottom right. There you go, some little dashes right there to the right of that. 
and we'll even throw a little bit on the right hand side too. A little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. And then that's probably a good start to our dark ones because you don't want to go all over the place with those. Now let's just kind of wipe off our extra and let's grab some tan and caramel together. So that same caramel color we used in the beginning with a little bit of tan. So the caramel and tan together. And now I'm going to throw some of these dashes everywhere. I just don't want to cover up all my light lines, you know, that we had on there. So this is going to go on just a little bit lighter than the caramel by itself. So make sure you throw some dashes through the middle. Dashes kind of through all your little arms. Whenever you're dashing, you just want to make sure, you know, you have a few that hang out over the edge. So you don't want to be too perfect with it. Don't worry if you hit any of these little lines we started with because we'll come back and hit those little lines again. So that's a good little start to that. We'll let that dry for just a second. So wipe off the extra and chunk that one in the water. All right, so now let's go ahead and work on our sand dollar real quick. So let's grab like a teeny tiny brush. So like a number one and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some really light gray with a little bit of dark gray. So you want like, you know, a pretty light color gray to start out with. And I'm going to skip in from that top left hand corner at least like three inches or so. And I'm just going to do kind of the middle of a sand dollar looks like petals. So you want to kind of go like for a petal look. It's kind of like a long oval. But don't worry if it gets a little cray cray, we can always paint over it. But you're just throwing some little petals. like five little petals and it's all right if your petals go off the top and it's okay if they don't like everybody's will kind of hit different just as long as you have like five little petal kind of all right so we got the start of our petals on there now we're going to add the little holes towards the edges of the sand dollar, it kind of looks like a little, it's gonna be like a little horse pill kind of shape. So we're just gonna throw those on with that same, those same gray colors. So just kind of like you're doing a little horse pill. So I'm gonna throw one down here at the bottom and then I'll skip over here, maybe throw one towards this edge. And then once you have those, I would even throw one maybe like over here in between those petals. So now we have our little holes for the sand dollar. So once you have all those little marks, I'll just kind of actually keep the light grays on there. Unless they're just a little bit towards the outside edge. So you want to load your brush and not on the very edge, but just skip in just a smidge. And you want to do a, a line that's just kind of barely, barely wiggles. So you want it to be real PC. But don't worry if you get too thick with it, you can eat away at it with the white here in just a second. But we're going to do that wiggly PC line just right near the edge. So not on the edge, but just near the edge. So we have our petals, our horse peels, our wavy line. Then just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. 
So we're still gonna work on our sand dollar a little bit. Just kind of switch out to like a number six or eight size brush and dry it off. And we're gonna grab that white with just a little bit of off-white again. So bright white, just a little bit of off-white. And now we're just gonna thicken up all the areas of our sand dollar except for inside of our horse pills. So kind of inside your little petals. I might would hit like all the big areas first just to give your gray a second to dry. Some people might be like, why are you putting a little bit of off-white? That just kind of adds some depth. And sand dollars have like a little bit of off-white in them too. So that's why we grab a little bit of off-white with that bright white. But kind of hit all your big areas first. all those big areas, get those thickened up. And then you can get up close to everything else. Just everywhere except for inside your little horse pill shape, I would just kind of thicken up. So I think we got it pretty good. Cause it's okay if you have some streaks. And I like a lot of paint on there, so I like that look. So just kind of keep grabbing it and Put it on there thick because it'll dry. All right, so we got a good start to our sand dollar and just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And now let's go ahead and grab like a number four and dry it off. It's so like a number four size brush and dry it off. And we'll grab more of that background color like a sea foam. And we're just gonna fill in those little horse pill shapes. And now it'll really kind of start to look like a sand dollar. We'll still kind of come back and add a few things, but in a few little lines to our petals, but filling in the little horse bill shapes really makes it look more like a sand dollar. So we'll wipe that one off. Still use that number four, so just kind of wipe it off and rinse it out. So we'll still use like a number four size brush and just kind of rinse it out and dry it off. And let's grab some more of that off-white and golden yellow that we started with on our starfish. So number four and that off-white and yellow kind of color. And we're just gonna go over, just kind of add a few more dashes where we had those dashes before, just in case any of them got covered up so if yours are still there, pretty much, I wouldn't, you know, worry about it. But if any of them got covered, I would just add a couple more. Because you really want it. That's going to kind of make it look good. And we're going to do the th same thing through our little star, like where we connected them. And then we're still going to use that same color. You can even add a little bit of tan to it so it won't be quite as bright. So that off-white, yellow, even a little tan. And now let's skip around and throw some more of those light little dashes all through the rest. Make sure you're really skipping around because you don't want to have like a perfect pattern. You want to be pretty random with it. So really skip around. Make sure you have a few that hang out over the edge so that they won't be just through the middle part. 
the more dashing you do, the better it's gonna look. So you kinda get pretty crazy with it. You wanna get pretty wild. Kind of, this is where anywhere where it didn't have a dash before, just, you know, go ahead and add a little bit more. And it's gonna dry a little bit darker than it goes on. So don't worry if they're looking a little bit light because they're gonna dry a little bit darker than it goes on. So it's okay to have, you know, a little bit of that off-white with it. All right, now let's grab same brush. Just kind of grab the caramel color, the color we started with, and even a little bit of milk chocolate. So caramel with a little bit of milk chocolate. And we'll do a few of those dashes everywhere. So some caramel and some milk chocolate brown together. And you just wanna skip around and do some of those dashes all over the place. Because the, the more paint you put, the easier it's going to be to blend. So don't worry that it's kind of, you know, it's still wet and you're still throwing, throwing them on there. It's going to blend together a little bit better and make it look better. So it's kind of that wet on wet technique is what we're going for. I didn't have that edge bumped up good enough, so I was kind of bumping that edge a little bit better. You just don't want any perfect edges. All right, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more of the dark brown so you don't have to wipe it out. Just grab that dark brown and dark gray like we used earlier. And we'll add just a few of those dashes kind of just where we put them before. If yours are still there pretty, pretty strong, then you don't have to, but mine kind of disappeared, so. I just wanted to, to add a few so they wouldn't be gone. Okay, we got a little bit of dark. Let's let that dry for just a second and wipe that one off. And let's rinse that one out in the water. All right, so we'll use like the same size brush, so number four, and just kind of rinse it out and dry it off. And let's grab a little bit of that off-white kind of by itself. So off-white, and we're gonna skip back to our sand dollar, and we're gonna throw just a few little bits of off-white. So not you don't wanna do perfect with this. If it's going on too bright, grab a little white with it, off-white and white. But we're gonna add a little bit of this right like kind of near our petal lines. So you can have some kind of on the inside of the petal lines, some on the outside. Then you can even throw a few streaks if your paint's still wet through the sand dollar. It's not that we're trying to dingy it up, but it just kind of helps give it a little bit of depth. This one's fresh out of the sea. It hadn't been bleached, so it has a few white little parts. It hadn't been completely bleached by the sun. So then once we have a little bit of that, I would go ahead and grab with that same brush a little bit more of the light gray. So still like a number four or a number one, if you're better with that, and a light gray. And now we can add just a little bit more to our petals, just so it's not like a perfect line to get it a little bit more painterly, a little bit of light gray. 
And anywhere where you need to kind of smudge up that gray line you did through the edge, you can do that now too. But now our sand dollar looks pretty good and thickened up. So we'll work on our starfish real quick again. So just kind of wipe off your extra paint. So just kind of wipe off your extra and let's grab some orange, so like a pale orange with some yellow and some caramel. We're really getting crazy. So like a golden yellow, pale orange, and like a little bit of that caramel brown. Kind of all of those together. And now we're just gonna dash with a little bit of that everywhere. So through the middle, through all your little arms, just don't get, you know, our little lines, you know, that we started out with the off-white. You don't want to cover up all your off-white, but we're going to do these little dashes everywhere. And if you're OCD, definitely skip around with this part. Because if you're a little bit of a perfectionist, because otherwise you'll be able to see those perfect lines of your dashing. So make sure you really skip around. And if it does get too perfect, just kind of dash back in with another color. Okay, that's getting us more of that orangey look that we want. But now let's grab a little bit of the sandy tan and off-white kind of with those two colors we were just using. So you're getting really crazy because you got some yellow, some orange, and then like lighter browns and off-white. And we'll just kind of dash in with that too, so it's just a little bit lighter than what we were using. like this one the more paint you put the better it's gonna look so just keep getting crazy keep dashing and you'll know when you like it so now maybe even brighten it up a little bit more so still use that same brush and kind of wipe it off and grab more of that off-white and yellow kind of by themselves and let's go over our little lines a little bit more again. So the little, I call them like the little seams, but the little lines through your arms. Just keep kind of, if any of those dashes went away, this kind of helps add them back. And then we'll still use that off-white and yellow and we'll throw just a few more of that color. Just make sure you really skip around because we don't want to, we still want to see those lines through the middle. That's the tricky part. is helping to throw some, some light. I think that's pretty good. So let's wipe that one off. We'll let it dry for a second. So kind of wipe it off, chunk it in the water. And we can go ahead and sign our name or initials and then we can come back and see if we need to add any more dashes. Just kind of wipe that one off and grab, so grab like a number one so the smallest brush and use whatever color you want. Mm -hmm. 
let's see. We'll take a look and see if we need to add any more color to it. I think that's pretty good because it's going to dry a little bit differently than it goes on. So now we have a sand dollar starfish. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check us out. We're on Cox Street in Asheboro. And be sure to check out our website, www.thepreppypossum.com.